Well, we're here at the edge of a, a wooded area this year uh, because one of the insects that I noticed was very numerous was the uh, hackberry emperor butterfly. Um, I know I had quite a few of them in my backyard on my hackberry, uh, the caterpillars early, and uh, just hatched out a huge crop of the, the butterflies in the, uh, that have been around for the last month or so. Um, this particular butterfly will only lay its eggs on hackberry. Um, it, it, uh, and, and it cycles up and down. This year it cycled a lot. And the interesting thing about the butterflies is that they'll, they'll sit around, the males will sit around on the tree and wait for a female to, to fly by and they're, they're looking for females to mate with. Um, but you don't see them sitting around going to flowers feeding on nectar. They particularly like to feed on uh, uh, tree sap, manure, and dead carcasses. And what I noticed, when, actually what I noticed when I was uh, sitting around on my porch, they always like to land on me and feed on me. So I don't know what that says about me in terms of why the butterflies were attractive, but, uh, but they, I think they were just getting the salt out, or like looking at the salt, because they do like to go to places where there's salt licks. But uh, it, I, there were a lot of different caterpillars that we saw uh, during the year. There was probably some that we're familiar with that we didn't see a lot of. One of the ones that I know I'm seeing around here with a lot of these pecans, we saw very little fall webworm this year, which I thought was really unusual because um, pecan trees are one of the first trees we'll hit. We saw very few of those. Um, I think uh, uh, Kevin Gregg mentioned that he didn't see any catalpa worms this year. So uh, we had uh, a lot of caterpillars, but they're not the ones that we oftentimes typically see here in Oklahoma. We just had the right conditions and, and uh, some of the uh, different caterpillars that we don't normally see took off this year. So um, that's one of the things that's uh, kind of interesting about living in the state of Oklahoma is, at, at least as an entomologist, that I never know what I'm going to see from year to year and it, it always keeps me very interested. <music>